Hey guys, what is up the new Cubist here? Welcome to episode 13 of my Minecraft Falling Falling Survival Let's Play series. Uh, this custom map is really, really cool. Um, link for it is in the description below, but you guys probably know all that by now. Uh, last episode we built a very successful mob spawner. We also fell and lost all of our iron tools. But this thing's been running for like, I don't know, five or six minutes. And I can already see ender pearls. And like, I think there's like 50 mobs in here. So look, watch this. Let's see how well it works. <laughs> like, it hasn't been running really that long. Um, so let's see. What all do we get? We'll probably get to 30 levels. I did discover, though, I have no way to turn it on and off. So we may need to do that in the future. Um, but currently, I have no way to get sugarcane. I want to get to the nether. I feel like there might be sugarcane in the nether. Uh, I really don't know. So we're going to try to find the nether in this episode. Not find it, but we're going to need to get enough obsidian to do so. Uh, we do have an iron so we can make a flint and steel. We have four obsidians. We only need to find six more and then we should be good on that. Um, we do have a good bit of ender pearls so eventually we'll be able to go to the end. But we got to get I think 12 ender pearls or something like that. Uh, we need to get some more steak going. Looks like we have them separated a little bit. But we have a bunch of coal so I think we can spare a little bit of coal. Maybe half of our coal supply. And uh, smelt up just 32 of those. We'll put the rest back into, you know what, we'll just put it into the furnace. That's where it needs to be anyways. And uh, we'll have to start destroying these bows. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to craft a bunch of stone tools since we don't really have any iron. Uh, we're going to do a little iron hunting, I guess, and try to find some iron. So it shouldn't be too hard to find some because I turned off the border for the map so it won't kill us as soon as we walk off the edge now, thank God. So... It'll be a lot easier for us, I think. So we're going to make a bunch of pickaxes, and then we're going to make a bunch of shovels, and then some axes, or an axe, I guess, is fine. Uh, but yeah, as long as we have a bunch of pickaxes, we should be good. Uh, shovels as well, and we got some axes too. We'll go ahead and keep these stuff, this stuff on us, and let's get exploring. So I can't turn this thing off and on, so I, when I come back down, I'll have to periodically empty it. Um, but what I may do is it see like when I hang off the edge now look I can hang off the edge Well, actually, I'm not gonna do it right here. I'm not gonna do it right here either I'll do it right here look I can hang off the edge and there's no damage So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around to another side and we're just gonna start looking for iron So I can look for iron if I press f5 pretty easily so as we can see there's some right here So I just have to place a block. Where is it? It's just right here. Okay, cool Gosh, it's so loud <laughs> but yeah, welcome to the series if you're new. Um, if you haven't seen this before, be sure to stick around for future episodes. We're going to be doing a bunch of cool stuff in here. The world is already generated all the way. Um, if you guys want to be sure to uh, find out how we got all this stuff going, be sure to watch the previous episodes. I think this is episode, yeah, it's episode 13 right now. Uh, but yeah, I'm just looking for iron. And uh, okay, there's some right there. We just got to dig straight on these two things. Okay, F5. We just got to dig straight right here. We should get some iron uh, But yeah, iron's kind of rare in this um, Zombies can still drop it I guess technically, but it's still really rare for them to drop it So I can't rely on maybe like five iron an hour or something You definitely don't get a whole ton of it Yeah, let's see is there any other iron around us? Yeah, kind of it's kind of around us. I guess we'll go up and get it Iron is so rare that like I'll go out of my way to get it just because we need it that bad it's not a very common block on here, nor is coal, so I should be getting coal too. Oh, obsidian, cool. So I wanted to get to the nether in this episode too. So we're gonna be trying to look for obsidian. We're gonna try to look for everything we need. So I'm gonna fall back down here. I'm gonna grab my diamond pickaxe and my diamond pickaxe, and I'm gonna take this out of here too. Cause I wanna put that in my rare chest. Also don't wanna keep this here. Okay, just so I can fall down. But yeah, when I died and lost all my iron tools, I just fell off the edge and like, I don't know. I kind of wish I could put my XP in a chest so when I choose to do something stupid like that, um, it doesn't happen. But yeah, we only have, we only need five more obsidian after this one. So we're halfway there after we gather this one. So that's really, really exciting. If I can remember where it is, oh, that's the only problem. But if I lose this diamond pickaxe, it's going to be kind of catastrophic. So I'm going to make sure I always put it in a chest because if we lose it, like, like I said, it's going to be kind of catastrophic. Um, I think it was up, yeah, it was up right there, I think. Right? Was it? No, I, yeah. Yeah, it was, okay. So we have to make sure, we'll gather that too. But yeah, obsidian is a little rare, I guess, just because of the fact that it's, 
needed for the nether. I'm really hoping that the nether has sugarcane in it. I have no idea. I don't know if the nether is done the same way. I genuinely have no idea. There's two iron over here, so we'll just keep going. But I have to at least put this into a chest because otherwise there's a great chance that I'll just lose it and I can't have that happen. So it looks like we already mined a little bit in here or something. I'm not sure, but we'll put a crafting table down and then we'll make us a chest and we're just going to put our super rare stuff in it so that way if we lose it, it's not the end of the world. Everything else, I'm okay with losing stone tools. It's not that big of a deal. We can make pretty much infinite of those. But we just need to scale up this wall a little bit. But see if that gravel would fall on us, it could just straight push us off. So we have to be super careful. Yeah, see? I backed up right there. See, I'm playing smart. Okay. So it's just right up here. Um, I don't think it's... Okay, see? Gotta be careful. Where is it? Um, okay, so it's like right up here. Good. So yeah, iron, obsidian, all those things are super rare. I have a ton of lapis and whatnot, so I don't need to really worry about lapis. But like this pickaxe, you know what? We're just gonna throw it out. Stone pickaxes aren't worth anything. Um, where's that next iron? Okay, it's right down there. So we just gotta mine out this straight, and then we should be good. But yeah, welcome to the series if you guys are new. Um, uh, I hope you guys are enjoying it thus far. Uh, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Wait, Neo doesn't know what to say? But yeah, we got five iron, which is more than enough. <laughs> We've been needing iron for a while, so I'm gonna go make an iron pickaxe with all this stuff. I'm gonna also put it all up because I don't want to have that on my inventory, but I'll come back down when we're down there and all settled in. Okay, we got our iron smelting, which is good. Uh, I'm gonna replenish that, and then we'll have an iron pickaxe, which is nice. Um, I'm just gonna start using that. I hate using stone pickaxes. They're so slow, but unfortunately we have to use them. Um, I'll keep one extra on us in case anything goes bad. I'd like to have an iron pickaxe, but I think, or an iron, sh not an iron pickaxe, or a shovel, an iron sword. But I think that's asking a little bit much right now because, well, we can't pick and choose. We really don't have that much of anything. Uh, we do have a good bit of coal now, I guess. Okay, cool. So we'll make this iron pickaxe. That'll be a big plus for us. We'll keep the diamond pickaxe on us only because we need it for obsidian. But if we die with the diamond pickaxe, I will never forgive myself because, man, that just really sucks if you die with that. I'm still look. Oh, I'm still looking for iron. Um, that's gold right there. It'll be much easier when it turns day. But yeah, we just gotta stay on the lookout for iron. I'm gonna go and try to find... Okay, we gotta hop up this. Do a little real quickie boop. Okay, there we go. Any iron? Any iron? Um, I love how we sort of carved this out. Uh, but yeah, if we could get to the nether in this episode, that would be incredible. I don't know if that'll happen, honestly. I'm gonna put the diamond pickaxe in there, just so we have it in a buffer chest. It's closer, but it's not so close that if we, um, if we need to get it, it won't take a whole long time to get it. But yeah, I wanna look over on this side. So, I see some iron down there, which is perfect. I don't see any obsidian. That is dark oak up there in the top. Okay. Well, there is iron, so we'll just go F4. What did I just do? What does F4 do? I don't think anything. All right, well, we'll mine down to that iron, and we'll go grab that real quick. I need to make an iron axe again, too. We had all these iron tools, and we lost them all. It's so sad. It's fun to mine on this world, though. <laughs> Making these little spires up and down everywhere. Okay, where is this iron? I don't see it anymore. I need to F5 it. Okay, we need to go down a little bit more. But yeah, it's, it's, this map is really unique. It makes you rethink how you normally play Minecraft, which is honestly something I've needed because I've played Minecraft for nine years, so doing the same thing over and over, excuse me, doing the same thing over and over with just new blocks, it does get a little, oh, I thought I didn't get it. It does get a little boring. Okay, there's iron like straight up over here. What do you think we, oh, wow. Well, blocks could fall on us right here, so we have to be kind of careful. Um, I guess we could build this would help us a lot if we were to fall. But I want to remove that. I don't want to have anything kind of cheating like that. There's a high chance we could just fall here and die. We need to be like, okay, we're just going to dig in. Okay, stop it. Okay, we're just going to dig into the wall. Oh, dig into the wall right here. And then go grab the iron from this position. But yeah, I don't want to build outside of the bounds if I don't have to. Um, like for like major stuff. I definitely won't but like little stuff like just things to protect me. I'll totally do it on them 
I really I got no shame in doing that. But we have to be sure to light up all these paths we build because otherwise things won't or things will spawn in here and that's just a no bueno. That's not good at all because that's going to diminish from our mob spawners spawn cap. We don't want that. Don't want that. Okay, we got to get off this block. It's making me so nervous. Um, okay. Yeah, just making sure to light this up as we go because mobs will spawn on this. And that wouldn't be too pretty at all. Alright, we have a good bit of iron. I want to go try to find some more obsidian. So I think what I'm going to do for that is just sort of strip mine in this layer right here. Looks like a good layer to start strip mining. And by strip mining, I literally mean like traditional strip mining. So I'm going to get in the wall a little bit here. And then we'll just start strip mining. You know, you guys know how you strip mine. You just do it like this. And it's honestly going to be the easiest way to find stuff. I don't think there's any other more efficient way. I mean, I know I can mine out the little, like, things off to the side, but that's kind of boring. But, yeah, whenever I encounter something cool, I'll come back on camera. But other than that, I'm just going to be strip mining, trying to find obsidian. Uh, but, yeah, I'll let you... Ooh, iron. I'll let you guys know if I find anything cool. More iron. Always welcome. Oh, let me get it. So I, I figured I could do this. This doesn't seem too cheating at all. Um, just sort of going out so I can see where obsidian is. I found um, a bunch of, I think I found one right there, one right there, and then there's another one up here, right there, and then I think there's another one like up there. So we may get enough to go to the nether this episode, which is absolutely perfect. I'm more than okay with that. Uh, but we got to go and get all these obsidians. So like there's one right there, which is going to be a little bit tricky to get. We just have to be super careful, right? Um, it shouldn't be too hard. I already kind of see it. And I know I just skipped over some coal, but I think I'll be okay. I think I'll be all right on that. Okay. And then just dig it over. Oh, okay. We definitely need the iron though. I can't miss iron, but knowing me, I will kind of miss iron just because I'm used to it not being that rare. So my eyes aren't trained to be like, ooh, iron. So I'm having to relearn things. And again, that's what's making this series so much fun to watch and uh, also fun to play. But yeah, another, another obsidian is down. We just got to be super, super careful doing this because if we lose our pickaxe, then, uh, oh wait, nope. <laughs> you guys are probably just had like an, an attack of like worry right there. A worry attack. All right. Okay. Back up to this. Now we got to figure out where's the next obsidian. I think it was, it's just right over there. So we just got to build up like how many blocks that many, one more up, I think, right? One more up. Okay. And then just build it over. Just got to be very careful, very meticulous. Don't want to fall and lose all of our stuff. But we should get enough obsidian from this. I think we have five. Um, so this will give us nine. So we'll need to find one more. But I think it'll be super simple to find it. I really am. I'm not worried anymore about finding obsidian. And that'll be good because that'll catapult us into the nether. And hopefully the nether is something pretty good. I, again, again, I haven't seen the nether on this map. I don't know if it has falling blocks. I have no idea. If it does, that'd be cool, but I have a feeling it won't have falling blocks like the overworld, but if it does, oh man, that's going to make this a lot of fun. All right, now to get that next obsidian, which I think is all the way up there. Okay, so we need to dig. Okay, well, I shouldn't have removed this, but I, again, I didn't know exactly where it was. So it's right above this sandstone block, so it's above this layer right here. So we just got to go straight up. And luckily no blocks can fall on this layer because we're technically outside of bounds. We're at, well, we're just outside of the bounds. Um, okay. This is making me nervous going straight up like this. Oh, man. I know I'm passing gold and stuff, but gold isn't that good. I really don't need a whole ton of gold. Oh, man. Spooky Minecraft noises. I remember when I first started playing Minecraft, those noises absolutely terrified me. I think they terrified sort of everyone because they were just, you just never knew when they were going to happen. Okay, we did get it. And then where's that next one? It's up there. Okay, well, we can we can get up there pretty quickly. Might as well do it like this. Okay, just a few more blocks up, like that many. Oh, there is iron right there. We'll go and snag that iron. We definitely need it. Just want to make sure I break all these things as I uh, go because I, 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 want, I don't want to have a bunch of stuff hanging off except for when I'm trying to get stuff. Just because it does make it easier to get stuff, but I don't want the map to look bad and the thumbnails, which I know is kind of petty, but I really need good thumbnails. You have to have them on YouTube these days. Otherwise, no one will watch you, which is just the, that's just how YouTube is. It's always been like that. And I realized that's why I never grew before, because I had terrible thumbnails. I was always good at titles and descriptions and stuff like that. But the reason I never grew was, well, 
Is that a panda up there? Dude, there's a panda up there. I should go get the panda. Um, and I think the last one is just right up here. I think, I can't really tell. We'll dig, or we'll build a few blocks out. But I think, is that obsidian way, way up there? I really don't know. We don't even have enough cobblestone, so I guess it doesn't matter. Is that obsidian? Uh, like right there? I think that is, but I also think those are obsidian too. Those three. Okay, well we'll just, oh, we don't have any blocks now. Oh, this is so scary. <laughs> just looking down and just seeing like, like nothing. All right, well, um, yeah, we do have a bunch of dirt. Okay, well we'll just dig, we'll build straight up. I don't think it's more than 30 blocks up. So hopefully it's obsidian. If not, it's not a big deal because I think I see other obsidian. Um, but we only need one more. So actually, yeah, I think it is obsidian, but I don't think we have enough dirt blocks. Ugh. No, is it? It is obsidian. Okay, cool. That makes me happy. We're finally gonna get to the nether, guys. Here we go. I didn't know we'd actually get this far in this episode. I thought we were gonna start collecting it and not finish. But here we go, guys. We're about to go to the nether. Oh, man, I'm excited. I'm getting all giggly. I'm not getting giggly, but I am getting really excited. Please don't drop some weird place, obsidian. I need you so bad, please. Okay, we got five obsidian. We're good. All right, let's go ahead and fill this in with... You know what? We don't even need to fill it in. So we just need to go straight down. I just need to hang off the edge because I don't want to fall and die with, first of all, my diamond pickaxe. Second of all, five obsidian. It took us 15 episodes to get five obsidian. I guess we never really looked before because we couldn't go off the side of the map, but that definitely does make things a lot easier. Okay, where is my main path? Okay, so this is not my main path. Not, not in any way is this the main path. I just need to be sure that I don't mine. Okay. So I can mine all these blocks and then the divot down. Perfect. It's very nerve wracking. It's like working on a skyscraper. <laughs> all right, we'll mine all these blocks down. I'll meet you guys at the bottom of this spire. All right, we're nearing the bottom, almost there. I'm super hyped to go try to find out what's in the nether. I say try because, you know, maybe I'll go to the nether and it won't be there. Okay, where was I originally? Oh, I just built out right there. Okay, cool. Awesome blossom. I just can't fall, okay. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go back down. We're gonna grab all the nether stuff we need. Um, I'm gonna be very weary going into it. I don't know what's gonna happen, but it should be a ton of fun. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, we'll just go down this ladder. I'll meet you guys at the bottom. Now, before we go to the nether real quick, I wanna check our mob spawner because I really feel, okay, we do have 10 obsidian. I just wanted to confirm we got eight iron too. So we're coming back from nothing. I don't know if this will be like crazy in here or not. I don't honestly know if we are What? Was there ice somewhere in it? I think that was the problem. I think there's ice somewhere in it. You know what? We'll fix it in another episode. I'm done with that right now. I don't want to deal with that. I think there was ice somewhere in the shaft and we just sort of missed it. Uh, but yeah, let's grab all the subsidian. We'll smelt. Okay, we already got one. Perfect. Already got some flint. Okay, flint and steel. Um, I'm going to put up my iron pickaxe. I'm going to also put up all these things too. All right, guys, let's get some hype going in the comments. We got a clear inventory, 10 obsidian. You guys could just start typing hype in the comments right now. We got to get, got to get the hype, guys. I'm um, trying to decide exactly where to put it. I think like right here is a perfect spot. Um, I just don't want to put it on the glass because it'll make things look a little weird. Do one, two, one, two. Okay, so our ceiling is a little, uh, a little short for this, but it's okay. I think it'll be all right. Three, three. Is it a phantom? Yeah. I think I hear a phantom. It's okay. The phantom can't do nothing to me. All right, then we'll put this up here. It's honestly okay like that, I think. Uh, we may clear out a little area above it just so that it looks a little bit fancier. I know you guys are like, Neo, just please go to the nether, dude. We've been waiting so long. I agree. Let me do this off camera then. All right, just sorted everything nicely. Made this area look pretty. Let's do it. Okay. Oh, I just got that feeling in my stomach. I'm so excited to see what's in here. Let's just do it. Oh yeah, making progress to the nether. Uh, okay, loading. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, so it's just a normal nether spawn, question mark? Um, huh, 
I'm not sure if this is what the creator intended or not. I'll have uh, Mr. Birdie, if you could chime in. Is this normal? Is it supposed to have the regular... Oh, God. <laughs> is it supposed to have the normal nether? I legitimately don't know. Okay, okay the thing's annoying. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to have the normal nether or not. I thought it was going to be like the falling, falling world, but I'm not disappointed. Uh, more surprised. I thought this would have sugarcane, maybe. Maybe it's in the end. I'm not really sure. Uh, I'll walk around a little bit, but we do have glowstone, which means we can make redstone lamps, which is perfect. Uh, we have nether quartz now. I'm trying to think. There's no way. Th there's no sugarcane in here, but there is soul sand, which is good for those water elevators. We can get up and down way quicker. Um, I'm trying to run around and see if there's anything off the bat that maybe Mr. Birdie put out here. I'm not really sure. I don't see anything. Okay. Well, let's get back to the overworld. I thought the nether was going to be different, so I do apologize if that's what you were expecting. I personally, I did not know that it was going to be just normal. Um, yeah, I was hoping there'd be sugar cane, but I guess not. The hype was for nothing, I suppose. It was still cool. Ugh. Sorry, I always have to cut out those absurdly loud noises. Um, yeah, I thought it was going to be different. I thought there would be sugar cane there, but I don't think there is going to be. Hmm, I need to figure out how to get sugar cane. Honestly, though, if it comes down to it, I may just give myself a piece of sugar cane at some point. I thought that it would be in the nether, but I guess not. Um, it really isn't that big of a deal, but I'd like to start enchanting. Maybe it's somewhere in a barrel. I, I really don't know. I don't know anything about this map other than what I've played thus far. So I guess we'll sort of figure it out as we go. Maybe there's another barrel somewhere in the map we need to find that has sugarcane. Mr. Birdie, if you could chime in, that would really, really help me out. He's the creator of this map. Um, he's a Frenchman, which is pretty cool. I assume maybe he has a French accent. I don't know. He said English isn't his first language, so. But he still speaks it better than most people that actually speak it. Um, let's go figure out what happened to the mob spawner. I'm really curious to see um, if it was a piece of ice. I mean, it has to be a piece of ice. I don't know what else it would be. Oh man, there's so many things in here. And they're all at full health too. Because of this water. It's all your fault, water. It's gonna take a little bit to kill him. It's okay. A little bit more work never a little bit more work never killed nobody. Oh, okay. Creeper though, you cannot explode. Actually, you know what? It's fine if the creepers explode. They actually just kill everything. And they're in water, so. Thanks, creeper. Creeper. Aw man. Okay, well this this is Okay. Okay. Dang it. <laughs> I just want to figure out where in the world this water is coming from. I may have to go in from the top, which that could, things could get a little nasty that way, so I may... Hmm, yeah, I guess we're gonna have to go in from the top to solve this issue. Although, it may be a little bit difficult. I need to figure out how I can clear out that room. Hmm. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Let me get up to the mob spawner, though. Alright, we're up here. I'm gonna put up everything, because I don't want to die and lose anything. Except this stone sword. We gotta run in here. Oh, see, off the bat, there's a creeper. Dang it. Okay, well, this is going to be a little bit more difficult than I hoped. Um, I don't know how many... I don't remember how many hits it takes. Dang it. You're ruining my... I think it's the last one. Yes, yeah, so we got to run in here and light this thing up a little bit, at least. Okay, and then slowly but surely... Dang it! Creeper, where did you explode? I hope it was in the water. Okay, really, spiders? You guys are trash anyways. Alright, so there's no more creepers. Did they explode in the water? No, I think it was a creeper that exploded up top. Although, I'm not sure why the creeper... Really? Really? You're gonna do that? Really? Okay, well, we need to get more torches. <laughs> oh, no. We gotta do a little fix-it. Oh, I don't have any torches. Oh, no. Okay, well, I think we can fix this. We don't have any trapdoors, but as soon as we go back down, things are gonna spawn. So, we're kinda screwed here. Are you serious, dude? What is that? It's just like a creeper party of doom. You guys see that? Like, what? what is going on? Why are there so many creepers? No, please don't! Dang it. Okay, this is gonna be so hard to fix. Um... Dang it! Stupid creepers. I hate you guys. You guys suck. You're ruining everything. You make... Everything was nice and good, and now you just... You ruined it all. You removed all the signs. You, you just see your... Dang it! 
this sucks. <laughs> it's just one of those things where you're like, dang, this just kind of sucks. Um, okay, there is a coal in there. So we can grab a torch at least. No, that's not even coal. That's birchwood, you dummy. Alright, well, we'll fill this in like it was supposed to be. Um, we'll have to fix this, I guess. I don't really know how to fix it. Because I have to go back down, but as soon as I go back down, you guys catch my drift. It's just going to fill back up with stuff. I thought there was maybe some ice in here. I don't even have enough freaking... Oh, man. I can't even get up. I'll have to break this by hand. Oh, no. This is kind of upsetting. But in a way, it's kind of fun to have the challenge to fix it. But yeah, as soon as we go back up and down, it's just going to fill back up with stuff. So we'll have to do it as quick as possible to make sure to shut all the doors. All right, as quick as we can... Um, okay, so we need torches, uh, we need signs, oh man, okay, we need a bunch of signs. We have the trap doors, that's fine, we need to make a bunch more signs real quick. Hopefully this will be enough. Okay, six signs, maybe. I feel like I may need some more, do I have any more? No, but we can make some jungle signs. Pretty cool how they have different signs now, right? Um, and then we need a bunch of cobblestone. Where is it? We don't have hardly any. Okay, you know what? We'll use diorite. All right, well, we got to get back up there as quick as possible. I don't think our water disappeared, but if not, uh, it'll be okay. I don't really think we need torches. I hope that was the problem, but, like, I don't know what caused the creeper to explode because no mob would have tried to hit me and attack it, its friend or anything. Is there anything in here? <gasps> Only one creeper? You know what, creeper? You're going to get what's coming to you. You're going to get what's coming. Come over here. What the... He's like, ha, watch me, I can do a flip. Dang it, don't! Ugh! Dude, come on, these creepers. Oh my god. I know it's dark in here, I do apologize. I wish I could make it brighter, but unfortunately we don't have any, uh, any of them fancy things right now. Any torches. Ooh, we do have one torch. We'll hold it in our hand. Okay. Well, I gotta figure out what went wrong and how to prevent it. Um... I guess just a creeper exploded and it caused these water things to self-destruct. I really don't know. I have enough signs. Okay, I just can't fall down in there. What hurt me? <gasps> what the heck? Ah, it must have been the zombies that were down there. And as soon as I hopped in the water, their AI was like, ooh, look, a human. Let's just destroy him. Okay. But yeah, see, they don't drop any of the drowned stuff. When you convert them in Java, it doesn't work. I don't know why it's like that, but that's just the way it is. Okay. Was that the whole problem? Was that really the whole problem? I, I have a hard time believing that actually just fixed our issue. I guess so. Um. Huh. Okay. I thought it was going to be much more complicated than that. But yeah, I'd like to do something in here before we go back up. Um, and it has to do with the fact that... Is it fixed? I want to make sure before I go... Why are the skeletons not drying? Do they not have oxygen? I guess that makes sense since they are, like, skeletons. Um, let's see. Does that fix the whole issue? I'm waiting. Yes. Okay, the water is gone, right? Yeah. Okay, water's officially gone. Alright, well, we're going to put break this. we got to get back up. Um, somewhere. Um, we'll just go back up, like, right here. I'm just gonna break. I know we do I know we shouldn't break it, but I don't have an axe. No axe for me. But yeah, I'm gonna fix this whole thing. I think we can make it a little bit more efficient if we broke some spider. If we broke some areas, spiders can spawn. Okay. I just need to make sure there's no trap doors missing. Um, no. It looks good now. Okay, everything should be fixed. That's how it looked before, I think. Alright, that kind of sucks. I don't know what happened. I guess a creeper exploded because it a, a skeleton tried to shoot it or something like that. But yeah, either way, this should be fixed. We'll go back down and we'll test it a little bit. Because I was I went in there and I was like, what's going on? Because it like there was water in it. Well, you guys saw it. You guys know the whole story. Why would I explain what you saw in the episode? But yeah, I am sorry. I know it's a little disappointing. I thought there was going to be something more cool in that area. But unfortunately, it looks like it was just the plain old normal thing but if you guys know how to get sugarcane please 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 let me know in the comments below because I need to get sugarcane so I can start enchanting I think that's like kind of the next step so if you guys have any ideas for that let me know in the comments please and the creator Mr. Birdie if you could chime in that would really help me out too
Sorry, I had to go into shaders there, take a screenshot of that. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I hope even though it didn't turn out exactly how we wanted, you guys still enjoyed it. I appreciate all the support in this series. Things are absolutely incredible. If you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe so you're actually notified when I upload. If you want to see future videos. If you don't, that's also fine. Um, if you didn't like the video, please leave it a dislike. But I ask that if you do choose to leave a dislike, you let me know in the comments uh, what you didn't like about it and what I can do to improve future episodes. But yeah, if you guys want to download this map for yourself, the link is down in the description below. It is an amazing map. You have to be on Java version to play it, unfortunately. But I think it's worth it if you have a computer that can run Minecraft. Definitely try it out. I don't know how laggy this map is. I have a computer that I don't think Minecraft can really mess with. You know, I'm not trying to sound cool or anything, but... It would take a very complicated map to mess with this uh, system I have going. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in episode... I don't know what the, I don't know what episode I am. I've recorded like seven or eight of these in a row, so I really don't know. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!